Today we're going to do something really cool. We're going to do a uh, loot flyback. Uh, it's where you um, break a box or something or kill a creature that has loot in it and it flies back to you. It's very simple. This video is not for coders, so we're not going to go into how the script is written. We're going to give you a free script. I'm just going to show you how to set it up with Platformer Project. So I, I wrote uh, three scripts. One of them is a follow script, which is requires a trigger of some kind. Uh, a follow script that has no trigger. Uh, this is something that you would use uh, in a creature that you would kill or um, a box that you would destroy. And then I have an item pickup trigger, um, which we may or may not need because in the case of Platformer Project, it comes with a bunch of items that have triggers already. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of my stars uh, that comes with the kit. All right, so you notice it has all the scripts that come with it, and I'm just going to add one script to it. I'm going to add the follow script. So in the follow script, you're going to see a few things. One, it wants you to add the player. The player is what you want the object to go to, so if not the player, something else. Um, the start speed and the slow speed. So the start speed is how fast does it start going towards you, and then the end speed is how slow do you want it to slow down. The higher the number, the slower it goes. So this is how many frames it takes to get there. So in this case, I'm just going to leave the numbers to where I have them right now. It's going to move pretty fast, but that's okay. And I'm going to add my player. So I'm going to grab Lily and I'm going to throw in here. So if I hit play, um, what's going to happen right now is basically nothing. If I collect the star, it's just going to collect the star. But I need to have some kind of trigger um, to pick up the star because this script requires a trigger. So let's see what happens if I don't have a trigger. So if I don't have a trigger, I'm going to go over there and the star is not going to follow me because it just picks it up because the star script does that for it. But if I want it to come to me, I'm going to need some kind of button or something. So I'm going to steal one of the buttons that uh, come with the kit. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to move that button over here in front of me, uh, maybe over here. All right. So now we have our little button. Uh, I'm going to lower it because it's not on the ground. So this button already has a script on it that has um, that has uh, events to activate. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the events on my button. And just so it doesn't get confusing, I'm going to move my button out of the rest of the buttons and minimize that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these things that it's doing because I don't want it to do that. But what I do want it to do is when I activate it, when I step on this, I want it to uh, trigger that star to come to me. So think of uh, maybe completing a level or whatever and then dropping a box on this thing and, uh, and the big star, the hidden object comes to you or a door opens or something. But in this case, we're just going to have the star come to us. So we'll click on that star. Okay, so here's our star with our script. And then let's drag our star into the activate. And then the script is called follow. You remember we put that script on there. And then let's go down to trigger me. So if I click this button, that star should fly to me. And let's give it a try. All right, so the star is just doing its little thing or whatever. And I click this button and choo, there it goes. All right. Now, say you want the star to, in one of these boxes, um, let me find a box that has a star in it. Oh, a coin, doesn't matter. All right, so let's let's take one of these coin boxes, and of course I'm gonna unlock it again. So we have one of these coin boxes, and let's go ahead and put that here. Let's put it down as far as we can. So it's on the center. All right, so we have our box, right? What we want is we want to be able to uh, break this box and then have the coin go to us. So say we break the box on while we're running by, and we want to have the coin to go to us. So what we're gonna have to do is one, I'm gonna move this crate out of the body, so I have. It's easier to work with. Uh, notice I'm using all everything that comes with the kit, so there's nothing extra you have to have other than the script that I have. So in this case, inside this crate, I'm going to unpack it. Inside this crate, you're going to notice that there's a bouncy coin, but it is turned off. So since it's turned off, when it turns on, whatever scripts that are on it are going to activate. So this time we're going to use a follow new trigger. If you notice, it has the same options. So we're going to come up here. We're going to drag Lily here. The only difference is, is I'm going to make it slower. I'm going to make it slower because we want this coin not to immediately chase us so that we have time to get away. So let's give it, let's, let's make it super slow at the beginning. And at the end, let's try have it try to catch us. We'll, we'll put 50. I, I think I can outrun 50 with, with uh, Lily. So let's find out what happens. All right. So here we are. Let's go ahead and break it and run away. Ah, and there it is. See, it's following us. 
Well, the reason it disappeared is because the coin is set to disappear after a certain amount of time. Um, on the the coin script itself, there's a destructible thing here. Let's see here. Has time limit here. So if we were to turn that off, and then also um, let's go ahead and on our script, oops, on our script. Let's make it a little bit faster so it can actually catch us, right? So it takes off slow, but then it goes a little bit faster. And let's see what happens. All right, once again, let me go over here and let's break it. Whoops, missed. Let's break it. There it is. And now it's going to chase us down. And it shouldn't disappear now. And there it is. And we click this one. And there's that one again. And then you just can play with these numbers until you find the perfect speed. Let's see, 50. Let's see if that's fast enough. Let's there it is. Boop, 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 and bang. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, uh, please write them below. And then any requests for future tutorials, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.